Well, look, productivity is really a simple concept. It's the amount of output you get relative to the amount of input you're putting in place. And uh, so let me take one that perhaps by most standards is relatively difficult, uh, but something we pride ourselves on, which is uh, research and development. So we have a very uh, substantial research facility in New South Wales uh, with a lot of scientists there, and they're working on uh, innovation and new products generally. And the way we think about uh, their activities is to say, well, uh, they're working on new products and those new products go into the market. Every new product, incidentally, has to have a commercialisation plan that goes with it. And we have measures in place for our research and development function that says, well, uh, the amount of gross margin that those products earn is the output. And of course, we know the input in terms of our labour and other costs. And we look for a ratio of about seven to one in terms of the value generated as compared to the inputs that are put in place. Has this research improved Oreca's productivity? It has improved our productivity. Uh, and I think uh, for companies, there's a lot of productivity to be gained by innovation generally. And so what we do in terms of research and developing new products is in the main, aimed at improving the productivity of our customers, improving the effectiveness and efficiency of their operations. Of course, that allows us in turn to earn more gross margin. It also uh, enables us to maintain the loyalty of those customers because it's because they value that. How important is it that you show customers that you can improve their productivity? It's becoming increasingly important. Uh, you'll see the mining companies, particularly the bigger mining companies, doing a lot of research into how they improve their own productivity. We've been pushing them for a while on uh, uh, embracing the things that we're doing in the explosives area. And I think the uh, um, tendency in business to uh, work with your suppliers and uh, suppliers working with customers uh, to improve productivity is increasingly important. Do you have productivity as a component of your budgets? Uh, well, look, at the Orica level, and for each of the businesses, we do oblige them to have a productivity target in place. And, and I think that's quite important. And we put that, that in place uh, a few years ago. We, we aim at a, a productivity improvement uh, across the company of more than 1% per annum. Uh, we've achieved over the past six years, I think, uh, about 1.5% per annum. And that's been very important to our, our overall results. But in the process of putting that in place, uh, we then said to the business as well, uh, we need to have some techniques for improving productivity, of course, in order to achieve these objectives. Uh, we chose Six Sigma as a technique for, um, uh, for productivity improvement, continuous improvement across the, the group. And there are a couple of really good examples where, for example, I can think of in an, uh, a detonator plant in Brazil, a simple reorganisation of a, uh, an assembly line uh, which built the equipment around the people rather than had the people trying to travel along the equipment to do the work that they needed to do resulted in a very substantial productivity improvement. But the high level objective, the demands that we put on the businesses to be looking for these productivity improvements really stimulates that innovation.